Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got a Simple Colors Pastel Water Marble. I have started off with my Neltiques Formula 2 and two, no, one streaky kind of coat of Snow Me White by Simple Colors and topped it off with Posh Top Coat. I've also got some liquid latex that I'm going to use around my fingers and these are from the Kylie Jenner collection and this one's minty fresh and then Komodo and then Miss, Maj Miss Majesty and I'm going to use just a room a little cup of room temperature water it's not filtered or anything fancy and I'm going to build up my bullseye one drop at a time And these really water marble just great. I was really happy with how they spread and, and did well in the water. I really, really liked how well these did. And I love the colors. I wanted to eke out one more spring manicure. And I'm drawing in my design. I go up to the top and down to the bottom. And then I'm going to zigzag across. It just makes, it kind of makes like chevron marks in the, in the water. And I'm cleaning off my little toothpick in between each, each one. I don't always remember to do it, but I try to. That way I don't end up with any globs in my design. I'm going to dip down in and I'm going to use my toothpick to get that excess polish off of the top of the water. And there we go. It's a little hard to see because it's pastels. And we're going to do this again real quick. I am running my toothpick around the cup to get the polish to spread all the way to the edge. I just feel like I build a better bullseye when I get the polish to go out. There we go. One more drop. going to draw that same design again and I did try dipping two fingers over on my other hand and it just it just didn't work out so great so um, one turned out perfect and the other one's kind of a little muddy looking so I just decided I would do them individually this time and we're having a latex convention over here on my ring finger um, you know that's wearing me out got to get that off of there and I've got a bubble that I've just kind of raised out a little bit popped it and dipped that back down in the water and this one I've already built to save a little time I just edited out the dropping process and I played with my lights a little bit to see if maybe I could get it to where you could see it better Still working on the lighting situation over here. And just so you guys know, I did speed this up quite a bit because I wanted to be able to show more of the water marbling. I didn't want you to be here for 30 minutes to see me dip and, you know, all that, <laughs> all that time. And I did have a couple of bubbles on the pinky and I just pushed them down with my finger so that when I go to do my top coat they don't just pop and I feel better about pushing them down and me controlling how they you know end up looking and today I'm cleaning up with my usual cleanup brush this is my Sonia Kushak tools number 27 and I am using regular non-acetone nail polish remover today 
one thing I like about using this is that you can kind of flood it into your cuticles and it, it works, but it's not eating up all that polish all the way around your finger. Thought I'd give it a try. The reason I don't do it all the time is because it kind of gets goopy on your brush and you have to clean it off a little bit more, so there are pros and cons. But my cuticles and the skin around my nails has just been a wreck, so I thought I would give them a little bit of a break today and go with the non-acetone. I normally don't have the patience for non-acetone nail polish remover, but I had to find some. <laughs> And there we go. Very hard to see, but the pastels did water marble really well, and there's a little shimmer in there. I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat, and my camera is not playing nice. Give it a second. There we go. And I'm capping my ends. And you can kind of see it on my middle finger a little bit better, but I promise you all of them got done. I did all of them. This lighting situation is just making me crazy. There we go. You can see it pretty good on the pinky too. You can see where I mushed down those air bubbles. But the top coat helps smooth it out a little bit. Here's my final design. I hope you like it. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Always love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Bye.